Good everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we want to solve a problem involving open channel flow. We'll be looking at a triangular channel. And the question goes like this: it says a triangular gutter whose sides include an angle of 60 degree conveys water at a uniform depth. 250 millimeter if the discharge is 0.04 meter cube per second determine the gradient of the trough use the cheesy formula assuming c equals to 52 like i always tell you the first thing you have to write is your data now we are given the depth of flow right to be 250 millimeter and you convert it to meter by dividing it by 1000 and we left it 0.25 meters the discharge is given to be 0.04 meter cube per seconds and the bed slope is given to be unknown right and the cheesy constant c is given to be 52 how good now so from here what we'll be doing looking for here is the, the the gradient of the trough means we should look for what the bed slope all together now now this is how the um diagram is that the king this is the diagram that's given we have it in v in shape and the angle between the two inclined sides is 60 degree all together and this is M and then O that we have here. Is that taken? Then the height is given to be 250 millimeter, which is approximately which is given as 0 0.25 meters. Now, if I should split this into two, right? I'll be having it to be like this. You can see that. So this line in middle of it, I'll call it L. Then meaning that the angle 60 have divided into two that will be 30 30 in both sides right so i'm having m l n o and the height still remain the same as 0 0.25 meters now I'll pick out one part of this because it's symmetrical particularly symmetrical the left hand side is equal to the right hand side m l o is the same thing as saying l n o right so i'll consider triangle L N O bring it out right so this is what we have here now we want to look for L N is that taken so we're looking for L N from this given triangle and that to give us since we have the um we have we have the one of the side and the angle we're going to use tan theta using from this from mathematics we no talk about so katoa so we're using, the, we're using the toa there that says tan of the angle is equals to what opposite over what over adjacent now the opposite here is ln why the adjacent is what is lo so we say that tan theta is equals to what ln divided by what lo right and the lo is giving us 0 0.25 all together now if you cross multiply, my ln will now give us 0 0.25 times tan 30. So ln is given as what? 0 0.144 meters. But from our triangle here, from our channel, triangular channel, we discover that the ml is equals to what? The ln. So it's the same thing. So if ln is 0 0.144 meters, automatically, since it's vertically symmetrical, ML will be equal to what? 0 0.144 meters. So my MN will now give me ML plus LN, right? So that will give us what? 0 0.144 plus 0 0.144, which is given as what? 0 0.288 meters. Is that the key? Now we've gotten the to the up here now move forward recall 
we know that our discharge Q is giving us weighted area times the velocity. But we know the velocity is giving us the Chizy constant multiplied by the square root of the hydraulic radius times the bed slope. Now, if I input that into equation one above, so my Q now will now give me the area times what? The Chizy constant times the square root of the hydraulic radius times the bed slope. You can see that? That will be my equation two. So we don't have our weighted area, but we can calculate for it all together. So for weighted area, now that will be the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is given as what? Half base times height. Now the base here of that triangle is given as B, while the height, the depth here is given as Y, right? So we'll say half width times what? Times depth. Now, which will now give us half times the base here is the total length here, which is my mn, right, times the depth here, which is the y. Now, what is the mn? mn is giving us 0 0.288 times the depth, which is what, 0 0.25, all divided by 2. Now, when you do the needful here, you have your area, you multiply 0 0.288 times 0 0.25, divide by 2. That will give us 0 0.036 meter square. Are we together? Similarly, we need to calculate for the hydraulic radius arrow. We know that our hydraulic radius arrow is giving us weighted area over weighted perimeter. I'll call it equation three, right? So we need to get our perimeter for us to know our hydraulic radius, right? So for weighted perimeter, I'll bring out that same triangle LN O, right? We know LN is zero point one four four and uh, LO is 0 0.25 then we'll just name ON we don't know what the value of ON is is that the key now so what I'm going to use here is I will apply Pythagoras theorem that says that the ON square as the hypotenuse square is equals to OL square plus what LN square so if I put the value my um, on square will now give me 0 0.25 square plus 0 0.144 square so on is equal to if you take the square to the other side give us square root of the square of 0 0.25 plus the square of 0 0.144 will give us 0 0.083 so when you look for the square root your on will now give you 0 0.288 right so that is my ON. Is that the key now? So the perimeter now, since we have two symmetrical sides, this other side here and this other side here, there are two. So we have two of it, MO inclined at the same vertically, 30 degree vertically, and ON inclined at 30 degree vertically also, right? So we say that the perimeter will now give me, um, you add the side, we we'll call it what the perimeter. That will give us what? ON plus O M right because that the key now weighted perimeter and that will give us um zero point two eight eight plus zero point two eight eight and that will be zero point five seven six meters right weighted perimeter you add all the sides the water is touching just like the previous video we did in rectangular um channel now we've gotten the water parameter we'll now substitute into equation two right and we'll say that the hydraulic radius now will now be given to be um the weighted area is 0 0.036 all over the weighted parameter is 0 0.576 and when you divide both of them you'll be having 0 0.063 meters right so we've gotten the hydraulic radius we've gotten the uh, the weighted area we've got in we have cheesy constant and we have the discharge right so we're going to input all this value into what into equation 2 above start the king we put that into equation 2 above and we are going to be having the discharge will not be equals to um the 
area times the cheesy constants times the square root of the actually just times the best slope right now what you should just do is you need you are looking for the gradient which is the best slope s naught right so you need to make it free is inside the square root so you have to make it the solid of the formula so one of the step in making the solid formula is to square both sides so when i square both sides i'll be having q square this chart square is equals to the area square which is a square and the r square root of r naught s naught all square now the square here will cancel the square root will not be left with what q square is equals to a square c square r s naught so if you input your value your discharge q will now be 0 0.04 square equals to your area will now give us 0 0.036 square multiplied by the cheesy 52 square multiplied by the idyllic radius 0 0.063 times the bed slope which is the gradient there s naught so if you do the needs full you will now be having your s naught to be equal to you 0 0.04 square all divided by 0 0.036 square times 52 square times 0 0.063 is that the key now so by the time you do the net full you'll be having your slope to be equals to 0 0.00722 right that will be having as what your bed slope is that the key now so what i just did here is i divide both sides by 0 0.036 square times 52 square times 0 0.063 so when you divide both sides by it you will have this all together so this is how you calculate for what for the bed slope which is called the gradient also in a triangular channel so if you have found this video helpful before that in our next video we'll be treating on a trapezoidal channel so you stay tuned to watch that so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and if you have any modification you can also comment in the comment section thanks for watching